Hey guys, some of you might remember a big old house we showed you in this location and then it was demolished and then they built these four new houses that they then put up for sale. And that was only recently. So one of them had been sold, three of them hadn't. This is one of the ones that hadn't been sold yet, brand new house. So we were very surprised to see these guys up on the roof ripping the roof off. And we assumed there must have been a problem with the roof, it must have been leaking or something, and these guys were quite vigorously ripping the roof off. Then they did this. So we were absolutely amazed at everything, just they didn't remove anything. They left the, all the windows and doors and fittings inside, the light fittings, a complete total house. It was up for sale. It had been finished. It was up for sale. And they just pulled it apart, threw it, in, threw it in big bins, loaded the bins on the back of trucks and took it all away, dumped the lot. See the front door? Everything's brand new. They didn't remove anything. You would assume that obviously there's something, there's obviously some paperwork was wrong or something about the foundations was wrong or there was some major error made by some poor person who's in a lot of trouble right now. But you would assume that, okay, they've got to demolish it, that they'd salvage all the new stuff because everything's new, the windows and doors and t light fittings and, and plumbing fittings and the, the bathroom, the bath, everything in there is brand new. The whole house is brand new. But, you know, as we've said before, Japanese people don't like secondhand anything, even if it's only five minutes old. So obviously, you know, where in a lot of countries everything would have been salvaged, they salvaged nothing. They just used that big machine there and pulled it all apart. So obviously their thinking is that all those new pieces, you know, they can't use them in another new house because the pieces wouldn't be new and the owners wouldn't be happy. So, so everything's rubbish. Just amazing, isn't it? So it's sort of classic Japanese behavior because it's, it's illustrating what we've said before about about used things, anything that's used, even if it's only been used once briefly or owned by somebody else and never used. In this case, no one's lived there. See the shutters on the windows, the storm shutters, the bathroom, the bath. So no one's lived there. The place hadn't been sold yet. It was still for sale. There's a for sale sign out the front. Still hadn't been, nobody had lived in it yet. All the windows up there, look. So it illustrates that really well, that as far as they're concerned, if somebody's owned something, it's second-hand, nobody else wants it, so it's all rubbish. It also illustrates the, the bureaucracy thing. It's for sure, we, we tried to find out, one of the neighbours said there was a problem, right? Chotto monday arimashita. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> so whether it was... It didn't pass the building inspection, the, something wrong with the foundations, or just some city paperwork or something see how close it is to the neighbours so these four houses were all built by the same builder all at the same time and they're really close together as you can see but they don't seem to be touching the other two the two on either side are still for sale haven't been touched just this one so obviously some little hiccup with it that was bad enough that the whole thing just got thrown away so that's about uh, how much? One hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of materials. So, but interesting. This, but before we go, have a look at this one. This road was completed about five years ago, and you can see there's a little road there where we used to go. Now they built this big new road here that joins up that busy intersection up there with another busy intersection down the other end. And the cars have to go around all these back little back streets to get from one place to the other. And they finished this road about five years ago and never took the barriers away. And we're guessing it's a similar situation. That there's some piece of paper somewhere or a plan somewhere that wasn't right and it hasn't been approved and so these barriers are still in place. If they moved those barriers, everybody would be able to drive in a set of there instead of having to go up around three blocks and come back. But it's been like that for five years on a really busy road. <laughs> it's insane. But anyway, there it was. There's two big mysteries let yet, yet to be solved. <laughs> More videos coming soon.